journalists drawn from different media groups received and on uh, hands-on training on first aid application. The exercise was organized by the International Committee of Red Cross in collaboration with the Nigerian Red Cross. Senior correspondent Ivy Kanu has more. Most times, journalists face crisis situations to get news. Some fall in the line of duty. The hostile environment in which they are exposed to have made it clear that they need to be armed with some first aid knowledge. Robin Weldo is a communication coordinator of International Committee of the Red Cross. It's an important dialogue for us because it's an opportunity for us to discuss together, to listen to your questions. For ICRC spokesperson, journalists are prone to having injuries while covering crises. Trainings included how to administer CPR and manage bleeding, fainting, epileptic and diabetic attacks, bones and skulls during emergency. Facilitators spoke on the importance of the training. If anything happens, they will just become confused. So it's very, very important for journalists to have this knowledge of first aid, which D stands for danger, R stands for response, then A, airways, B, breathing, and C, compression. The AED, automated external defibrillator that works with pads, the, the, the duty of that AED is to restart the heart, to shock the heart, and make the heart to start breathing again. Having it in every organization and their companies is very important. Daniel Edebo is the first aid and pre-hospital care field officer with ICRC. He stressed the need for media practitioners to have the knowledge of healthcare in danger. Healthcare workers, um, healthcare personnel, healthcare facilities should be protected. These are what we are talking about when we talk about healthcare in danger. There were simulation and journalists were encouraged to practice. We were all involved, you know, just to make sure that yes, we were able to understand what we were taught and then continue to practice. It's a good one. I mean, when we go to the office, it's important. Now it's time for us to pass this message to our colleagues to... What do for victims when they drown is to press their stomach, trying to bring out water from their stomach. But the right thing to do is to give as much breath to the victims. The organizers are of the opinion that to reduce reported cases of untimely deaths, more Nigerians should be equipped with first aid skills. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos.